On this episode, we do crazy person stuff again. Yeah, that's... Mm, there's a lot of things happening here. We obsess over unimportant details again. This is why this story has been going for 59 episodes. <laughs> but also, we get stuff done. There we go. Woo! I didn't know coffee can taste so good. <laughs> Hi everybody, this is Christian from Lazyus Academy. Uh, this is episode 59 of our advanced schmuck tutorial and we are at, at an impasse, or well, not an impasse, but we are at a transitional point in our game development. Um, we are about to get into the bullet patterns. Finally, the last system, the last big system that we're gonna be working on. But I'm not quite sure where to go, how to go about this. Let us look at the master plan. Yes, the master plan. Um, so we have set. Um, this is this is this is the second. This is this. Okay, this is the third goal. Oh my gosh. Goal. So goal, first goal, figure out the basics, we did that. Second goal, um, have some basic gameplay, arrive at the Great Wall, you know, kind of continue working on us, bring everything together. And then arrive at the wall, and now we are climbing that wall, and we are, we just need one last step to get over the wall. Let us walk through the things that we already did. We have a consolidated animation system. We just have that. It exists. Uh, we have a unified collision uh, system. We have used some unified collision bus logistics. We have a database system and that has HP, brain, animation, collision box. Everything is covered by our database system. Good. Schedule spawn system. Hmm. So yeah, critical creative payload needs comparable editor. We're kind of working on this. Uh, the, here is um, a thing that we still need to work on. Um, the current schedule spawn system, the current schedule editor, doesn't have a good preview of the brain. There is no brain system link up. We just written that brain system, but the brain stuff is not really reflected in the in the schedule editor. And I'm kind of dreading this part because if you think about this too much, your brain will hurt. <laughs> because you kind of have to simulate the brains inside the schedule, and that's that's not the brains are not easily reversible so maybe we need to cheat this a little bit we're gonna we're gonna talk about this when we're gonna talk about this um, but I didn't want to go more into brains I want to just move on for now um, and in enemy database hookup we do have though uh, we do have an, a brain system that is tricky for sure uh, high, yeah but we have immediate feedback uh, we have a very efficient, efficient way to define them. Um, it doesn't have the bullet system hookup because we're working on this. Now comes the bullet pattern system. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. But but uh, what what are what are what's happening here? Um, player dies if they get hit by bullet. Yes, that's true. X scroll. Uh, enemy scrolling in sync with background. Um, I think this refers to uh, ground enemies. We don't have ground enemies yet. Uh, uh, let me let me. Uh, ground enemies um, and also we have some brain system leftovers um, boss location lock um, like this we had like this thing where we want maybe have a command where we move the player or, or an enemy at two specific locations to start the next next start the next pattern um, enemy scrolling in sync with background. Okay, um, maybe our ship needs to be an object. That's definitely something that happened. A merge splash system. Uh, that's uh, happened. Um, maybe update splash and mass and draw. I'm not sure if that happened, but um, yeah, um, we are going doing good. There is just some bullet system stuff happening, and we need to uh, at, the, at the end we're gonna return to the spawn system to bring it all together. Bullet pattern system. Let us think about these things a little bit. So the way I want to go about this, about the, the bullet pattern system, is kind of similar to the way I want I went about it in with the uh, brain system. I want to define some kind of some basic behaviors, some basic things that I want to happen in our game, and I want to develop a system that supports these behaviors. And I'm going to keep working on the system until it supports those behaviors. So first of all, obviously, a very simple thing is we want to have a bullet 
you know, if this is an enemy, let's say this is an enemy and this is uh, uh, the player, I want the enemy to shoot a bullet at the player, right? <laughs> I, want, I want aimed bullets. Just basic, uh, uh, I want to have a system where it's like fire pattern number one and pattern number one is just like an aimed bullet and that's, that's it. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe maybe we specify pattern aimed or pattern... Like, I want to figure this out, how to fire aimed bullets and how to fire bullets that are not aimed, where it's like the bullet um, is is flying in some in to, to a specified direction, right? So this was aimed, this is static. Static is not, not exactly the, the right word. Okay, so these are like simple things. We, we kind of already, almost already have them. We can program them. But then we want to maybe have a situation, if you think about it, where we are firing multiple bullets. We are, we are firing rapid fire, right? When we're firing multiple bullets after each other. So we want to spread the bullets in, in time. We want to create multiple bullets and spread them in time. So rapid fire. And then I want to have an ability the system should support an ability to um, create, to fire a spread of bullets, not just spread them in time, but also spread them in space. Or more specifically, spread the angle at which we're firing the bullets, not just like fire a bullet in one direction <laughs> towards the camera, but you know, fire them uh, in, a, in an arc, right? So well, what I want to maybe do is like have a spread. Yeah, we want that for sure. Okay, so these are some basic things. And maybe I, it would be nice if we could combine them, right? It would be nice if we could rapid fire a spread, right? So, or, or if, you, if then maybe the rapid fire is aimed, right? Like if we want to kind of like all of these things should not exist. <laughs> oh, oh gosh, oh, big day for coffee lovers. <laughs> Already we are realizing that this is something that these things are not supposed to exist independently of each other. These are not supposed to be separate functions. Rather, we want to be able to combine all those capabilities together. We want to create patterns that combine all those capabilities. Yeesh. Moving on, and I'm going to change the color because these are kind of like basic things, but, um, but then things get spicy. Uh, here's another thing I want to be doing. Here's another thing I want to be doing, number five. Ah! <laughs> I've been looking at some patterns in shmups, and one thing I saw is like a spread with sub-spreads. So basically, we have an enemy, right? And it shoots into four directions, right? It shoots into four, let's say, not doesn't have to be four, but some number of directions. But each shot that it fires consists of multiple bullets, right? So it's a spread, it's a spread of spreads, so to speak. Ooh, that's, that's, that's hardcore, that's hardcore, man. That is weird. So we're kind of like combining spread with spread. You see where this is going? Like we kind of like, we have like some basic elements and we're combining them, we're stacking them on top of each other a little bit. So, okay, spread of spreads, good. And then I saw something else that I also found really interesting. I saw a, a, a pat, bullet pattern where it kind of like, it kept firing, so it was rapid fire, but the angle as it was firing kept changing. So it was kind of like this spiral pattern. And it kind of like the bullets flew out in a spiral. It wasn't, they weren't necessarily moving the spiral, but you know, the, it, as if somebody is f firing a machine gun, but turning while they're firing. So it's kind of like this, um, so, so this is spread of spreads. And this is um, turning. Yeah, that's, mm, there's a lot of things happening here. All right, some more ideas that I have for bullet patterns that I want to, I saw in shmups and I want to see them here. One is, I call it a chunker spread, um, which is I have an enemy. And um, this I saw this so many times in, um, in Aspirate, where it's a little big enemy and they fire like diagonally, like, like these lines of bullets, but to the sides. Something like this, but it's just like four distinct lines. 
right? Uh, we're not quite. We're not. Uh, let's move this a little bit higher. So, so they like. So, like um, those four distinct lines. Would, there's like a gap in the center where you can be, right? And uh, an eighth. I think I saw. Or not an eight thing I saw, but kind of like something that you see all the time. It's like where you have an enemy and it, they just like saturate the screen with bullets. Like um, it's kind of difficult to draw this because there's so many. Can I can I have a? Ah, never mind. I'm just gonna like do some dots. So it's kind of like uh, it draws a bunch of bullets, and the next uh, pattern is offset from that. You know, it's like this. Um, it's like this dense pattern that you see, very regular dense pattern. That's like this weird. I know rapid fire spiral thing where it's just like there's like this you know what I'm talking about there's like this thing where the the enemy just starts barfing bullets at this very regular kind of like spiral esque pattern. Yeah! Under the under the screen and then your your goal is to like navigate between those bullets, right? You have to like kind of like find your way through the bullets. And it's not random, it's very regular and predictable. Um, and it's kind of like also pretty. It looks like kind of like this um, mandala kind of thing, or like like a um, uh, fractal kind of thing, where it's like this this the entire screen is covered with bullets. Um, I call this um, um, the labyrinth, but probably there's a better name for this. Um, I forgot one, and I wanted to add this, so maybe this is gonna be four. <laughs> this is gonna be four point five. <laughs> Um, uh, something that we haven't discussed is uh, sometimes you get like a burst, not a spread, but a burst, just like some like a clump of bullets that are f um, fired at the direction, quite often at the actual player. So they're quite kind of aimed at the player, but uh, kind of like um, randomized and clumped together. So just like this, like this barf of bullets. Um, and it looks a bit chaotic and it's kind of like shocking because like, whoa, a lot of bullets are coming my way and you cannot really navigate between them that, that well. Um, but it like turns like, like instead of single bullet, you have like this, this clump of bullets and I want to have like this burst as well. All right. Um, I have maybe some more ideas and some more plans, but for now, I think this might be, um, this might be a good this might be a good spread of patterns that we can think about. You can already tell where this is going, what my thought process is here. And maybe, you know, th there is no universal th solution for this. There's multiple solution for this probably. And if you have a really cool solution for a bullet system, do let me know in the comments section. But here is my plan. Here's what I'm thinking. I want to do like a recursive, <sighs> recursive, there's recursion again, like a recursive, um, pattern system where we have a bunch of base patterns uh, base modifiers let's, let's let's call them pattern modifiers and we can stack them on top of each other so like a simple thing is like fire a single bullet right fire a single bullet and then on top of them you can do a modifier that is like this fire six bullets in a row and which bullets are we firing? Well, this single bullet that we just previously defined. This single bullet, but now six times in a row. Or this single bullet, but uh, spread around in a, in a certain arc, right? And then you can stack them on top of each other uh, even more. So it's like, okay, let's do a spread of three bullets in a, in a, in a very tight pattern. And then let's take that and spread it around all around the enemy. So then you get a spread of spread, so to speak. Or let's say uh, I want to um, have a single bullet and that keeps firing and then I want to start turning, like I want to start adding to each subsequent bullet. I want to add something to the angle so it kind of like keeps turning. Um, maybe we need some kind of mirror function because we have the spread chunker. So we have like a stream of bullets in one direction, a stream of bullets in another direction. Maybe it's something like this. Um, and the labyrinth is, it feels like it seems complicated, but it's actually like, a, I think it's like a spread in all directions, like bullets going out in all directions. And then you turn that entire pattern, I think. And then we need some kind of randomizer as well. Like we need to some kind of like think where it's like, um, fire this, this bullet, this static bullet, but then add some random values to the, um, to the angle and the speed. So it's kind of like. Uh, you, you add copies of that bullet, but the copies are slightly offset from that initial bullet. Um, so we kind of have like this referential thing where one pattern says like, fire this other pattern, 
but now change something about this. And then you can say like, okay, then fire that pattern and change something about this. And then fire that pattern and change something about this. So like we kind of like maybe keep stacking those effects on top of each other and create wonderful complex effects. These are some ideas that I have. Now, in order to make this work, we obviously need another editor, the final editor that we're gonna work on. And that's gonna be like the pattern editor. So pet edit, pet edit. Okay, let's save, um, let's load editor. Uh, and let's save pet edit. Okay. Um, mm -mm -mm. So before we do anything, I just want to, um, I want to write this um, uh, pattern goals, right? I want to just write down things that we want to do. We want to have aimed static. We want to probably have static before we have aimed. So I'm going to actually already change the, the order of things. One, two, we want to have um, rapid fire. We want to have spread. We want to have burst. The numbering has changed. It doesn't matter. The, 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 the ideas are the same. Spread of spreads. We want to have turning rapid fire spiral. We want to have trunk spread. And the last one is labyrinth. Again, maybe the labyrinth is not a really great name for this, but whatever. Okay, so these are the goals for our patterns. Um, let us let me finish this up. Let me finish up this theory part with um, some. I, I've been I've been really marinating this problem, and I've set um, some assumptions. I set out some assumptions. Um, we can make bullets incredibly complicated. There is, uh, if you look at a lot of shmups, you see beh bullet behavior where you go like, what is even happening here? You can like frame analysis, analyze them and like track them out across multiple frames. Like what is, uh, I'm gonna um, make some assumptions about the bullets. I'm gonna establish some ideas ab about what bullets can and cannot do. And the cannot do is kind of, I think an important part because again, it's like we, if you keep adding effects to the bullets, if you keep adding capabilities of the bullets, the system will get out of hand very quickly. And I think it's a um, better idea to, I think in our case, especially for Pico 8, it's a good idea to kind of like establish some limits to what uh, the bullets are, are allowed to do. Like what, what, what's kind of like, what's the system that is underneath all those bullets. So uh, first, a very important assumption is that um, bullets, after they've been fired, bullets don't change direction. Bullets don't change direction. We're not gonna have bullets like missiles or anything like this. That's not a bullet. That's, if you want to have missiles, if you want to have like little tiny things that follow the player around, that's what the enemies are for. If you want to create, we could create like a tiny little enemy that, that tries to get the player, that's fine. But the bullet system, in bullet system, we don't change the direction after the bullet has been fired. We only change, the, we define the direction in the moment the bullet is fired, afterwards the bullets will continue flying in whatever direction it was fired. Another uh, assumption, and this is gonna be a bit maybe a bit more controversial, uh, but I still, bullets don't, change speed yeah a bullet is fired at a certain speed and it continues traveling at that speed there is not going to be accelerating bullets or bullets that slow down or anything like this it's just we're going to just have bullets flying at the same speed and i know that games some games do that some games slow bullets down or accelerate them and so forth um, we're just not going to have that it is a Pico 8 game it doesn't have to do everything and all those games that have acceleration deceleration Sure, they do that, but we don't have to copy them one to one. We can just like have very simple bullets and it's going to be fine. We're going to explore the possibility space of these assumptions rather than trying to go for an even bigger possibility space that we might not even achieve, right? Um, just by the fact that we don't have acceleration with our bullets, everything else will be simpler 
and we can focus on making that system sing. We're gonna make that simple system create you know, the most interesting behavior it can rather than trying to shoot for a system that we cannot achieve or that will uh, blow up in our faces. I'm saying these things because I've been going insane trying to figure out this bullet system and <laughs> And I had to, at some point, I had to tell myself, okay, this is what we're going with because I, I just cannot figure it out otherwise. Too many parameters, you know? Okay, so bullets are going to be like these very simple objects, actually, if you think about this. And all the pattern goals that we, that we have here are really just like creating a bunch of objects. It's, it's really all the pattern goals that we're doing here are really just about creating a bunch of objects where, where and, and deciding like just a few parameters, the angle and the speed, maybe the position. We haven't talked about position yet. Maybe, maybe we need some offset kind of thing. But yeah, um, so really like three things, speed, angle, and maybe position, that's it. Okay, so I don't want to end this episode um, before, I, I want to create like a, like a, bench like a workshop bench for for assembling the system so i want to just create something that's kind of similar to our uh, enemy behavior system so i'm going to go into brain edit um, and let me set up uh, the stuff that we need to do so i'm going to copy over this on the left side we have brain edit on the right side we have pattern edit i want to copy over some things so we can hit the ground running um, so we're going to include schmap pets Let's, let's abbreviate it, pets. Um, because it's pet edit, right? Pets. Um, file is uh, shmup pets. Array name is um, pets. Data is pets. Okay, okay. Then um, just like so we have something, we're gonna create an empty array of pets. Not parts, pets. We're gonna delete it in a second, just like uh, setting it out for uh, to save something. I'm not sure if we're gonna need metadata. Let's hope not. Now uh, we do need my SPR uh, because bullets will have sprites, so we need the my SPR, and we need the animation library. That's for something that bullets will have animation, so we have animation library. So let's get these inside here. Otherwise, we are good. Now I wanna immediately uh, launch into like a draw pad, draw pads, update pads. I wanna uh, launch immediately into like a editor mode where we are editing the patterns. Uh, and I'm gonna create that mode immediately. Draw pads and Uh, and in that mode, I want to actually, um, I'm going to copy over this, this stuff that we already had, where we um, draw uh, this, this grid pattern, because I like that for the um, uh, enemy editor, for the brain editor, and I think for the bullet pattern editor, it also makes sense to kind of like give it an illusion of, um, of movement. Like so. Um, and then we do want to show, uh, we want to draw the menu. Do we have, oh, we don't have draw menu. Okay, let's copy him draw menu. Uh, this draw menu has the menu UI. I'm gonna keep that around uh, in case we need the menu UI in, in our, uh, in, in, in this, in this version of the, of the editor as well. Uh, we don't need that. Um, mm -mm. And then here, this stuff is we can just draw menu like this. Okay, that simplifies the table version of it. Uh, draw menu is in there. Um, let us now also add an update version for this. So function update paths. And this is also just going to be like a refresh pads. So we have IO, uh, UI, pads. We create a bunch of tabs. In the UI tab, I want to put the refresh stuff. Um, uh, there is the refresh table. Okay, so I'm going to copy this refresh table out. Bam, and I'm going to put it in UI. 
and then we're gonna go function refresh uh, paths. And for now, it's not gonna be anything. It's just gonna be empty. Uh, I'm not gonna. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go to this later on. Uh, okay, so we're refreshing the paths, and that's basically it. That's basically it for now. Let's save and run. Uh, it could not include the file shmup paths. Uh, that's okay. <clears throat> Now let's just comment this out for now. Save run. Uh, there's no scroll. Yeah, we have some scroll in update 60 function that uh, we have not carried over. Let's do that real quick. So we're gonna do, um, yeah, like this. Scroll, uh, and we also want to kind of define that variable as well. So scroll to zero, save run. Uh, PSPR does also not does not exist. It, it would be also good to have a PSPR because we're gonna shoot bullets at the player, so it's good to have like a like a stand in for our player. Uh, like this, run. Ooh, okay, okay. We are we're getting somewhere. Okay, so let us um, create a little to do list of things that we want to do on uh, this episode. Um, so I want to, <clears throat> okay, so let's think about this. So we want to, what, what is the editor is going to look like? Well, we're going to probably have a list like in a, in a, uh, a behavior in a brain editor. We're going to have some list with some parameters that we're going to think around with, but in the end, how are we going to test the, the patterns? Well, it would be nice if we could just like press a button and fire a pattern, right? So that's what maybe something I want to do today. Um, I want to, um, fire a pattern with a button press. And I had some ideas on how to do this because, you know, um, the patterns will be also influenced by the movement of the, um, the enemy that is firing them. So it's, I think it's a good idea to make the, um, to make like a simulated enemy, to make like, to, to have something that fires the, the, the patterns and make it so that we can control where, how that moves using the mouse. So I want to just like, like previously, like where we had like the, in the brain editor, we had like, we could use the mouse to kind of simulate the player moving around the screen. Now I want to have, use the mouse to move a simulated enemy on the screen. And then if I click with the mouse button, I want to fire the pattern. That's what I want to do. So move simulated enemy with mouse. Fire on click. So when I have these things done, then I think we're gonna be we're gonna we're gonna have, we're gonna be we're gonna be good. Um, by the way, if I run this, uh, let me let me re real quick check, double check, pets. Okay, so run. I'm gonna export, and then we can remove this and include pets here, right? So now, and now we created that file, that shmup underscore paths. We created that and um, it's being loaded, but it's an empty array at this point. All right, so, um, <laughs> right, 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 right. So what do we want to do? Um, um, so here in the update function, when we're refreshing the paths, um, we're also gonna do something like, um, uh, well, we have the player sprite. Uh, oh, let's go do NSPR as well. We're gonna do like an enemy sprite basically. And then that's gonna be X equals 64, Y equals 64. Uh, we're not gonna draw an entire enemy here because we would need to import like the enemy library and so forth, we don't need that. Uh, and we're just gonna have like a little object that has an X and Y position. And um, I want to modify that when we update the um, the when you update the that mode that pattern mode, so NSPR X equals um, I want it uh, to be controlled by the mouse. So we're gonna go stat. Uh, what was it again? Stat thirty two for X, uh, stat uh, thirty three for Y, like this. And then let's draw that to the screen. So here's where we're drawing player. That's this little circle here, and here is the enemy. Um, so we're gonna NSPR, NSPR, uh, like this. So we have like a little circle that is the enemy. Yeah, so now we have like this. Yeah, it's, it works. 
<laughs> Maybe a circle is not quite what we were looking for. So let's do a line. Uh, let's do like a little cross. Minus four. Uh, minus four. Five. Um, plus four. Plus four, five. Oops. Like this. Let's let's see. So we can like differentiate the two. So it's a bit more clear. Oh, that's not what we, that, that what? Mm. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. okay. <laughs> the line has to go between two points. So like this is, is one line. And this is getting out of hand. Uh, plus, uh, minus, uh, I, I'm, I'm, oh yeah, yeah, minus. Like this. Like a little cross, you can keep it at circle. Uh, it's a bit big, there, that cross. Let's make it a three. That's where we're investing all the time. This is why this, <laughs> this is why this tutorial has been going for 59 episodes. <laughs> okay, no, this is good. I like this. Maybe two, maybe two. Let's go two. It's a little cross, a little, little cross. Maybe you should put a variable so we can control the size of the cross. Yeah, okay, this is good because now the, the cross is kind of like the size of the circle, S super nice. Okay, so now when I click, I want to fire a bullet. Right, so let's go to the update function and we're gonna go if, um, do we have a mouse update function for this? We do not. Uh, so let me look this up. Um, uh, which one did have a mouse update function? I think it was Skedit. We had a mouse update function in Skedit here. Um, do mouse, yeah, there we go, there we go. Uh, we're gonna copy this over. See, this is this is the nice thing that we did so much work on, on those editors that we can just like reuse stuff. So this is gonna be do mouse and we're gonna do the do mouse in, in the update function immediately after do keys. Uh, does the M scroll is also that's something that is done by the mouse? No, no, uh, it's just the position of the mouse. Okay, that's good. And then since we have the mouse, we can use mouse X and mouse Y, that's good. So let's, uh, we don't need that anymore, we can close this. Right, so mouse X and mouse Y are now variables that are available to us and we can totally use them. So it's like mouse X, mouse Y, let's do this. Unexpected end of line, yeah, 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 because we were, we we're about to write this thing, okay. Yeah, it's still working, good. And now we have this click l. So we're gonna, we can use that now to fire things. So we're gonna go if click l, then add debug fire. Let's try that. Okay, we can click, but we don't see a bullet yet. So how we do we make the bullets? Uh, let's, let's look real quick in the current, um, Shmup, how bullets are being fired here. Man, this is gonna be one of those episodes where we are copying a lot of stuff from other other cards. Uh, load cow shmup. Let's look at what is happening here with the bullets. There's a gameplay here. We have a spawn and a function, do enemies, do brain, do bulls. We do have a do bulls thing. It has a speed X and speed Y, and we're deleting them. So how about we copy those? And let's put them in here. So we do have a do bulls. We have the shoot, but that shoot is for the shots. Right? Uh, do the enemies ever fire bullets? No, I don't think they ever do. So we do have the do bulls function, but we don't have a way to create the bullets currently. We have to uh, create one. I do want to get the bulls, the bulls array in our in our little in our little pet edit. This is the this is the array where it counts. Okay, so one more thing I wanna find out is how are we drawing the bullets? Uh, where's the bullets? There we go. Yeah, just regular old draw obj. So let's do put that in the draw function here. Um, so um, here's where we're drawing the uh, lines. I want to draw the bullets on top of the player and our little thing. And then we're gonna draw the menu. Mm -hmm. Uh, do we have a draw obj in here? We don't probably, right? We do not. So let us get the draw obj in here. That's going to be in tools. 
Right, draw obj. This is something that we're gonna put, copy over. Draw obj. Uh, what else we need? Uh, MSPR, but I think we do have MSPR. Do we? We do not have MSPR. So let's copy the MSPR. What else do we need? Uh, the psych. The psych function. So psych and here MSPR. I have an inkling that maybe we're gonna we will be re needing the R and D range. So let's copy the R and D range here as well. And maybe do we do we have the my sign? We don't have the my sign. Let's let's copy the my sign as well. We might need these. Okay. All right. I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna run this. Still uh, okay. We're firing. Mm, so let us let us let us do a function. Function fire. Remember, we have shoot, but this is fire. <laughs> this is different. Maybe we should, let's call it bull shoot. Or pat shoot, pattern shoot. Let's call pattern shoot. Okay, so with pattern shoot, uh, we what, what, what kind of things we want to tell to the pattern shoot function? Well, we definitely want to supply an enemy, right? Um, that's definitely import, important. In this, our case is going to be this NSPR thing. We don't want to do the enemy. Then we want to specify what patterns we are firing. This is going to be a number. We will refer, ref, refer to some kind of pattern. And, and maybe that's it. Do we need more? Let's see. Let's see if we need more. Uh, for now, these are maybe the things that we need. Um, and then we're just going to go add bulls. And I'm just going to add a bogus bullet, some kind of random bullet. What do we know about what we need from bullets? Well, we need an X position. Let's, let's call it n.x, dot X, uh, Y, n dot Y. We definitely need these. We need an S X. That's going to be zero. Uh, S Y is going to be uh, one. We want to maybe fire a bullet down. We do want to have an Ani. Uh, that's the animation of the bullet. What is the currently the animation of the bullet? I've wrote it down in my notes here. Um, that is going to be animation six currently in our, our little preview. And all of these will are subject to change, but you know, again, we're just like doing something, something very simple here. Um, any speed, anis. Um, we're going to set it to one. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, do we need anything more? Uh, let, let's do the duples. If we have need an SX and SY, um, yeah, we're good. We're good. Oh, we need an H. Um, H equals zero. Oh, we're not calling the patch root function. <laughs> we're not calling it. We should call it here. Yeah, when we fire, we want to draw it. So uh, the pattern is going to be one. I don't know. <laughs> we don't know what pattern it is right now. And an update. And the enemy is going to be the NSPR. Let's try this. Yikes. Okay, so psych is not working. Ah, yeah, I, uh, wait. Ah, yeah, 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 I got it, got it. So uh, I think we need to grab the animation from the library. That's how it works. So it's like the any is actually any lip square bracket six. Yeah, there we go. Uh, the bullet is not moving because we're not doing a do bulls in the update function. Let's do that. What? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Bolts. There we go. Woo! Okay, we don't need that fire anymore. We, we, we know, we know it works. Okay, so this is it. <laughs> We're done now. <laughs> We're done preparing the thing. So now we can start implementing uh, this, these ideas, uh, start working through those pattern goals. I think this is a good moment to go to the doggy zone. That's right, the doggy zone. Yeah, so the doggy zone. There's two things, there's two challenges I have for you, two big challenges. They're not easy challenges. Both of them are hard. Challenge number one. This bullet doesn't look nice. I want you to create nice bullet animations. Nice bullet animations. And I'm thinking, my plan, my goal is to have three different types of bullets, three different types of bullets. A small bullet, a normal bullet, like a normal size bullet, and a big bullet, like three sizes of bullets. I think that should be enough for a little shmup. Three different bullets. 
I want you to create not just a sprite, but also an animation and kind of figure out what a good speed for that bullet animation to be. That is challenge number one. Challenge number two is you, if you want to, you can try to already go ahead and try to make those patterns work. Experiment with different systems, see what works and what doesn't. What can make these, uh, these patterns work in our shmup? Yes, yes, yes. So let us move on. Uh, at the end of each episode, as always, I say a big thank you. Huge shout out to all the people who are supporting this show on coffee.com. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for making the show possible. And in fact, on this episode, there's not even going to be any shout outs, any questions. I've literally run out of questions. Um, so yeah, if you want me to answer some more questions, you can post them down in the comment section. But yeah, it looks good. Like we're, we're getting there. This is like the final big step. This is the final big step before we get over the big, the great wall of schmups. And I'm, I'm eager to dig into it. I think this is where finally everything will come together. Mm -hmm. See you on the next episode, guys. Bye bye.